This is the case of the week number two. My name is Suzanne Johnson and I'm a gynaecologist from Southampton. The patient was 37 years old and had been seen with some upper abdominal pain, possibly pancreatitis. CT had showed an adnexal mass. Her last period was two months ago and she was not sexually active. There was no other relevant medical history. There was no CA125 level available. She had a scan which showed a mass, maximal size 63 millimetres in the adnexa. The image on the left is the scan of the mass. The one on the right shows colour Doppler information about vascularity. This is a video of the mass. If you want to see more, you can always pause and rewind the video at this point. What's the diagnosis? Is it bowel, normal ovary, dermoid, ovarian cancer or fibroma? Let's go through it. Let's describe it using IOTA terminology to begin with. This is a unilocular cyst with mixed echogenicity contents, shadowing, no vascularity and normal ovarian crescent. Here you can see normal, normal ovary at the edge. This here is a unilocular lesion. It is one locule containing cyst contents which are mixed in echogenicity which was more obvious in the video. You can see some little lines here in the cyst. There was no vascularity on the previous image using the correct Doppler settings and some normal ovary at the edge as you can see. You can see shadowing here behind the cyst which again was more obvious on the video image. Just looking at that video image again. When it starts you can see a little bit of normal ovary here which then is confluent with this cyst with some mixed echogenicity contents most obvious there and then that's the other ovary normal ovary. This is the cyst with mixed contents, very obvious here, some lines there and then going into the other ovary and also notice that the bowel which is very similar to this lesion shows peristalsis. Peristalsis just there. Normal ovary, cyst, mixed contents, normal peristalsis at the edge and then there was shadowing behind the mass as well. So if we start off by looking at simple descriptors, it fits one of the benign ones. It's a unilocular tumour with mixed echogenicity, acoustic shadows and a premenopausal woman that would be a mature teratoma or a dermoid. If you don't think that that fits, then let's go to simple rules. There are three benign features to this cyst. It was unilocular, there was shadowing, and no blood flow. And in the absence of any malignant features, this would be benign. Looking at other risk of malignancy calculators, you can't calculate the RMI because there's no CO125 level available. The LR2 is 0.1 and the ADNEX 0.4 calculated without a CO125 level. The patient underwent a laparoscopic ovarian cystectomy and this was a mature cystic teratoma, or dermoid. The diagnosis was a dermoid. It's important to be able to distinguish between benign and malignant adnexal lesions. This dermoid was recognisable as a benign simple descriptor as being benign. If it was not recognised immediately, it was benign on simple rules. Equally, it was benign on the risk of malignancy indicators LR2 and ADNEX. It can be very difficult to distinguish between a unilocular cystic lesion and a solid lesion, as the cyst contents in a dermoid can be very thick and look solid. A dermoid can look very similar to bowel, but doesn't show peristalsis. 
Look for lines in the cyst fluid, representing hair. Look for shadowing and no vascularity. Also look for normal ovary, called ovarian crescent, at the periphery. Thank you.